let's get to know the courses tool. As an administrator, you can use the courses tool to create courses, copy or reissue courses, associate courses with departments and semesters, and more. To create a new course, click Create Course. Enter a required name and course code. Click Choose Department to search for and associate your new course with an existing department, or click Create Department to create a new one. Click Choose Semester to search for and associate your new course with an existing semester, or click Create Semester to create a new one. Optionally select a start date and end date for your new course. Finally, choose to make your course active and click Save. You can also click Save and Manage to save and automatically navigate to the course administration page of your new course. To copy or reissue a course, click the context menu next to a course and select Copy. Enter required information and click Save. It is important to note that deleted courses are placed in the recycle bin of the org unit editor. To permanently delete courses, you must navigate to Admin Tools, Org Unit Editor, Recycle. Select the courses or course templates you want to delete and click Delete Permanently. The Date Created and Role filters help narrow down course listings. Use the Date Created filter to define a custom date range. You will see the courses created within the specified time frame. Role filters appear when a user is enrolled to multiple courses with different roles and has access to the Manage Courses tool permission. Courses are filtered by each role. Brightspace automatically selects the role the user is currently signed in as, and also the filter won't appear if a user only has one role. Here is how to ensure that you can view the role filters. Go to Admin Tools, click Users, and search your name. Then, click Enrollments and the Search button. Make sure you are enrolled in at least two separate roles. To see that the roles have the right permissions, go to Admin Tools, Roles and Permissions, and click on any of them. Finally, on the Edit Permissions page, make sure that this role has access to all of the Manage Courses permissions. Now you know how to access the Create Courses, configure course details, and organize course listings. Thank you for watching.